One, two. One, two. My audio will probably hurt your ears. Really sorry about that. Kind of new in terms of audio stuff. Everybody, if you didn't see the past episodes, Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd, a.k.a. Yoshi Mixer, a.k.a. I feel motherfucking refreshed. Ugh, slept some good hours, cleaned up my house, it's a good day. I'm gonna talk to you about a little blue hedgehog. Well, actually, not just the hedgehog, the concept of rivalries in general, which includes the blue hedgehog. I don't think I was around for the whole Sega does what Nintendo thing, but I do know that that rivalry between Nintendo and Sega was a really fun thing to grow up with. It just, it looked fun. I was definitely around for the whole DC versus Marvel thing, at least the end of it, before all comic book fans realized we don't give a shit what company is doing good stuff, we just want good stuff. And it kind of makes you wonder, are rivalries needed anymore? Between companies, between stories? Or do we just want them? Do we just want to feel like part of something? Like, Star Wars versus Star Trek, that was a thing. And it kind of feels silly in retrospect. They're two slightly similar stories, being in space, but nothing else. But I do know that there was a rivalry for a while. I don't know why, ultimately, but, well, my main theory is that it's fun to fight. Sex and death, those are the two motivators for all mankind. And, you know, death is created by fighting, and fighting includes rivalries. That's, and the most nonviolent version of that is a fan rivalry. My thing is better than your thing. That's been going on for years. And it's like it's semi going on still to this day. I say semi because most people don't really give a shit and I'm kind of glad. Like uh, the big three in Shonen. One Piece versus Naruto versus Bleach. The obvious answer is One Piece. The other two are just stupid action centric bullshit. But whatever. You know it's like it's fun to fight. Fighting is fun. Death battle, for example. Who would win in a fight? You know, this fictional character or this fictional character. Ultimately, it really depends on who's writing the story and what happens, you know, how it is. It's like there's no logic in fiction. There's no logic in argument. But ultimately, that's what makes arguments fun. We like to argue. We like to hate. We like to feel the absolute force of anger that fuels us and it's nice you know that other people share our side in anger share us in this rivalry and ultimately it's kind of sad when some rivalries die well while exe also being good at the same time DC and Marvel we stopped fans DC and Marvel fans if you're wondering if this is one take this is all one take I'm doing that this time, yeah, whoop to do sleepity bop no edits. This is the no edit one. Yeah, DC and Marvel fans stopped hating each other probably back in the late 90s. No, wait, mid-2000s when we stopped giving a shit who was making the good stories and we just wanted good stories. Doesn't even matter what character. I already said that once. Ugh, well, like I said, one take. Nowadays, most comic fans go by writers. You know, like, uh, you'd never really go wrong with Grant Morrison. Uh, wait, let me go back on that. You mostly never go wrong with Grant Morrison. He did, he did write the new 52 Superman, which, even with his guidance, was... Ugh. Lex Luthor doesn't play the bongos. Why did you think that was a cool line, Grant? That was not a cool line. That was silly. Even too silly for comic books. One rivalry I'm super glad is dead. Microsoft versus Apple. As most people finally realize that they're owned by the same fucking person. And the entire rivalry was fueled 
by the Illuminati to get idiots to buy specific products. Okay, who am I kidding? That's just my conspiracy theory. But still, it was dumb. And I'm glad it's gone. What was I talking about originally? Oh yeah, Sonic. Yeah, we're probably never going to have a good Sonic game. And the main reason is because he lost really hard in the console wars. You know, it's like the Dreamcast died because it didn't have a DVD player. And that's sad. It's really sad. It wasn't that obvious that they lost at first. It's, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 was fun. And they made a multiplayer version for the GameCube. Everybody loved that one. And then Sonic Heroes. Which is also not too that horrible. But yeah. And then Shadow the Hedgehog where they just overcomplicated his backstory. <sighs> Why is he half alien? Why couldn't he just be Sonic's secret brother? I don't even mind the gun stuff that much. That part was fun. I liked that, admittedly. But, just... Secret brother! So easy. So easy. Man, this is just absolute rambling. Rivalry rambling. That's what I'm calling this blog at the end. The title of this blog... Wait. Podcast. Blogcast. Yeah, blogcast. That was just decided right now. Rivalry ramblings. Hope you like it. Though you might not. Either way, Dirk Oves, Hammerstein, Walrus. Episode... 4? I forget. I don't know. I'll check later. Like I said, one long cut. Yeah. I'm Yoshi Mixer, aka Mix... Ick, the, mill, Mick the Nerd. And I did not edit this cut at all. Fuck yeah.